Welcome to my lecture online. Here's our, sir, our first set of examples of multiplying and dividing rational expressions. I guess in this case, we're only multiplying them. All right, let's take a look at our first example. And again, the first thing we can do is write that over a single as a single fraction. So this can be written as 2x plus 1 multiplied times 3x minus 4, and the whole thing divided by 3x minus 4 multiplied times 2x squared minus 9x minus 5. Now here, since everything is multiplication and division, so these two are multiplied, these two are multiplied, and we're dividing the numerator by the denominator, we could already simplify these two, or it could wait till the end until we factor everything out. Doesn't really matter, but you may want to go ahead and already simplify those two. Those divide, and so this can now be written as 2x plus 1 in the numerator, and this can be factored into the product of two binomials, 2x, x, the sign should be plus and minus. The minus probably needs to go over here. Let's see, minus 5 and plus 1. Plus 1 times a minus 5 gives you minus 5. 2x times a minus 5 is minus 10. 1x is plus, plus 1, so minus 10 plus 1 is minus 9. So that looks like that's good. Now, we notice we can again simplify some things. 2x plus 1 and 2x plus 1 simplifies. So this can now be written as 1 over x minus 5 as the final result, the final simplified result. And that's typically what these types of problems look like. You probably need to do some factoring and then some regrouping and then some, some simplification. So here, again, the same thing. We can write this as, in the numerator, 3x plus 2 multiply times 5x. Ooh, what I can do here is, I can think ahead a little bit, notice that I can factor out of 5 out of those two terms, so this can be written as times 5 times x plus 1, and in the denominator we end up with 3x squared minus 7x minus 6. Now I bet you I can factor that denominator, let's see what that looks like. So 3x plus 2 times 5 times x plus 1. You can write it like this, you can write it like that, doesn't make any difference. And then the denominator, let's see here, let's try a 3x and an x. The signs are plus and minus. Hmm, let's see here. Minus 3, how about a minus 3 and a plus 2. Plus 2 times minus 3 is a minus 6. This gives you minus 9, plus 2, that's minus 7, so that looks good. Now, can we simplify some things? Yes, we can. We have a 3x plus 2 there and a 3x plus 2 here, and then I'm left with a 5 times x plus 1 in the numerator and an x minus 3 in the denominator. So you can see that these are fairly straightforward. It comes down to doing some factoring, doing some simplification, and there's the answer, and that is how it's done.